Okay, so basically you have actually uh, said that is it possible to move the entire P graphics screen using image and here is the link to the um, uh, to the uh, paste bin uh, sketch. So I have taken your sketch over here. I have a little bit modified it so it's easier to see things and let's take a look. So that's what it was about. You were offering exactly the same thing. So I, you can see it's moving pretty fast and it has about 400 rectangles. I can change the amount of rectangles over here. Okay, let's put 100 so it's a bit uh, they're a bit less populated. So that's what you offered. When you, uh, what I changed in this sketch, I just painted the background of the uh, sketch with green, so we can see where is the background of original background of the sketch and where is actually the P graphics is. So here, this P graphics you created is uh, black with a black background. So the problem we see here is that when it moves out of off the screen, we need something. We, we can see the the, the background of the of the screen the green one and we need to fix it somehow so this can be done by actually introducing the second um, second P graphics and here you can this is the first P graphics the black one this is the second one the uh, and here I've actually encapsulated all this creation code for creating field P graphics into this function called created field graphics it is available over here create field graphics all it takes parameters with height and background color it just does create graphics and it has shape count and it fills uh, then it calls field graphics with random shapes and then it just fills uh, graphics with random shapes and this is field graphics with random shapes method it just executes the same thing you did just makes the so it makes the color white and then just in a loop just calls a rectangle at random position uh, with a uh, with a size of uh, 40 so it's easier to see it yeah so that's just encapsulated it's a good practice to encapsulate the code which is especially is pretty well defined create field graphics that's a very defined functionality you can easily encapsulate it and now I can, you can see I can actually create the second field graphics just with this one line of code this is really really helpful and then I look at width height and here I put as a background color gray so that's the setup then I have actually took a liberty and changed the name of the variable I into first frame X and then we also need a second frame X because they're both moving and velocity I put to 10 so it's again moves a little bit fast so we start with the first frame X coordinate over here on like width of the sketch and the second frame coordinate is gonna be like two distances of the uh, of the screen so it's gonna be like way way outside then uh, as I said in order in order to see the regular background of our sketch I just painted green again this one I have uh, commented out and I just made it just rewrote the same thing but with a different variable uh, names first frame X we just output it or we just reset it and then over here there is this part about the second frame I can uncomment it and this part will be just outputs Oops, second frame with gray back round and let's run and see what's gonna happen so you see the first frame passes and then the second one the gray one so you you, you can still see there is a bit of a uh, we need to do a bit better math to figure out how to close this gap but it's good for now to just to see the fact that there uh, there is a background there so the first one is the black one and then the second one is the gray one and uh, because they are one after another displayed you create the continuity yeah the only problem i couldn't figure out how to solve is that this screen started to flicker a lot and i think it seems to be just because it's so fast and it's so quick it somehow doesn't synchronize well with the with the screen i don't know if you see the flicker i see it when i look at it on the original screen but um this is how the continuity can be done with the 2p graphics uh, another way it can be, uh, and, and obviously in order to figure out the collisions, you'll just need to keep the objects of the rectangle in your separate array. You don't have to redraw 
every rectangle from the array but you just have to verify still all the collisions uh, every time but this can be done pretty easily as well by filtering by the uh, by the x coordinate hope this helps